Okay. <clears throat> I think I have to make sure this doesn't show like it's too big. Hello everyone, thanks again for stopping by and tuning into today's video. I love you for watching and if you're new to my channel, hi and don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. So basically today's video is a different kind of video. I know normally I would you know come on here and do beauty videos or like anything beauty related and um, I haven't really talked to you guys in a while so I thought I might just do this video like this i know your yeah, thing's going on by the title like what the hell is going on some of you are like spill the tea so i'm gonna tell you guys everything that has to do with this particular issue. it's something that happens every day in our society a lot of us just tend to maybe turn a blind eye to it like i see it doesn't happen it happens every single day in different parts of the world not only around this part of the world that i mean it happens everywhere in different parts of the world and i feel like it's an issue that you know should be touched on here and there because there might be some people someone out there who's going through the same thing and doesn't have maybe the and and doesn't have any support or anyone to talk to so i thought this video would make a good video to to discuss here on my channel so guys um how did this happen about a few couple of days ago i gave someone a, a, a lift home and she was on the phone talking to a friend who was telling her about another friend of dia's father is trying to um get with her um and um, is trying to sleep with her basically that's what happened so and she was like are you serious like she could not believe like this our friend's dad like are you serious our friend's father like he said this to you and the man even um um, told her to send her account number she wants to give her money blah 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 do you know the stupid things men say especially stupid men so i was like are you serious and when she hung up she was like can you imagine like this like this is someone that we go to their house and we greet good afternoon good morning sir and i'm like i went through the same stupid thing yes and i'm gonna share my story with you guys i went through the same stupid thing i remember when i was 14 years old i was just in second year of and we call it second year here of my secondary school which is high school and i remember when i was in secondary school i have um a friend she was in her final year so the gap i had i have two friends in their final year the gap was massive it was like i'm in my second year and this person is in their final year of secondary school so i bet you she was about 18 19 years old about that because i know she was older than me you know with a good bit of age i had two of them and i remember this time we had moved from where we used to live we used to live super close to my i remember um um from my house you can actually go so but then my mom we then got another house and you know we moved and it was very inconvenient for my mom because her job was all the way to move all the way we moved like totally to the countryside we moved to all the way to like uh, close to another like we moved like proper moved it'd be about a long drive to school so uh, in order for me to get to school for 9 30 my mom and i would have to wake up super bright and early so and it was too total um um location to school to school so whenever would, my mom would drop me off at school the school isn't open i'll be sitting down outside and if you know something about ireland it's always raining here in ireland and i'll be in the rain even the janitors and all them people they haven't even showed up remember this that i was talking to i had two friends in the senior in sixth year which is the final year of secondary school. and <laughs> i remember i was talking to one of them and i was like oh my god it's so annoying not to wake up early and blah 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 and my mom blah blah and she goes oh why can't your mom and now she was and she asked me what time does my mom finish from work i was like um four three thirty and she was like oh my god that's perfect we finished from school here at four would it be okay if your mom can drop you off at our house because it's convenient for my parents to drop us in school in the morning but it's not convenient for them to pick us up in the evening i was like so my mom would pick us up and she was like yeah i was like okay that's fine my mom would yeah i'm sure she would love that blah 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 i went home and i told my mom and my mom have seen her a few times i went home and thought it's not like my mom just handed me to some total stranger no my mom doesn't play and my mom 
then took me um, and my mom was like and i told my mom was like fine my mom spoke to their pa parents first because she had all them um, two other siblings and my mom spoke to her parents first and her parents were like yes 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 they were like it's fine blah 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 and i think my mom and her mom kind of knew each other in a far kind of way not like clothes and my mom was like that's fine blah 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 they're wearing clothes my mom was like okay that's fine blah 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 and uh, we i got to know their house so every morning my mom would drop me off at their house and her mother showed me so much love i can't even lie that woman is a good woman her mother showed me so much love i remember i remember it was in their house i learned how to eat um you know the forces um rice crisp his bar and i think their mom works night so she gets home very early in the morning and drops her kids off and this continued for about i say a month or so maybe over a month or two months and sometimes when the mother is busy the father would drop us off and all of a sudden the father started to make passes at me he started to tell me he liked me i'm a very beautiful girl he would give me compliments on my color obviously i'm not stupid i knew what he was trying to say and one day he took um, um i can't remember what happened i think this the my friend who was in sixth year couldn't go to school or something like that or she went to some open day in some place and it was me and the little sisters and he would usually drop the little sisters first he dropped them off and then he was talking to me in the car you're a very beautiful girl i like you and 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 he wanted to touch me i was like um uh, no and he was like oh sorry i didn't mean to i just wanted to tell you you're a beautiful girl blah 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 and i was like do you know how stupid you look i didn't say anything and remember i mentioned i have two friends in sixth year and i came down and i was and i told my other friend and um he had my mobile number obviously in case they needed to call us or anything and then i was in class and the next night check was he texted um i got a phone credit message and i was like and i told my friend and my friend was like oh top of the phone and i talked up my phone obviously and then she was, and she was like what happened and i explained everything to my friend not his daughter my my other friend not his daughter my other friend and i told her everything that happened and then she said to me this is ridiculous that's someone's whom we know's father like that's her dad like doesn't he know we're all friends like do you know and i was in second year i was only 14 in second year of high school and then she was like oh my god like that is so weird and the, it, con it asked me again the second time the third time and one day he actually gave me money like i think it was like 30 euros or 40 euros and i didn't take it because i was like no i don't want it he goes you should use it and buy lunch i was like no thank you so my mom gives me enough money and i came down from the car and I then told my friend again the second time and she was like that is it you need to tell your mom because this man can be very dangerous you need to tell your mom so i was like okay and i got home that day and i told my mother i explained everything that happened to my mom and my mom was like the good thing about my mom is my mom and i were very close i have a good relationship with my parents thank god and i know there's some people out there who might not have anyone to talk to trust me you're not a weirdo there's just so many stupid like I don't even know what's the perverts there's so many perverts out there in this world i'm telling you and then this and i told my mom what happened and my mom was like okay this is what will happen my mom was like did you tell your friend i said no she goes have you told anyone i said no and she asked me who have i told and i told her the only person i've told was my other friend who is in the same year as this one and as his daughter who is my friend and my mom was like okay open anything he didn't touch you and i was like no i it's always in the car he's trying to drop the kids off and talk to me blah 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 and my mom was like okay i was so shocked and my mom told me that this is what will happen every morning she would drop me off so it doesn't matter how early is it, it is she will drop me off and she will pick me up again and my mom started dropping off. i would usually get to my school for 7 30 in the morning <laughs> like or 7 45 when the day were running late it was so early like and my mom would drop me off in school but i had so um um peace of mind you know i had peace of mind that i was safe you know and my mom would drop me off at school every day at 7 30 in the morning that i became friends with the janitor so, like i became friends with it like all the people who who would come in bright and early and my mom would drop me off every morning and all of a sudden my friend who who the dad was trying to you know get with me 
started to ask me why aren't you coming to our house anymore like what's going on like why like and i said oh my mom told me that if they ask me i should just tell them that her working hours has changed and now she can she can drop me by herself and she was like why why aren't you coming to our house anymore like what's the problem like what why i was like don't worry my mom can drop me off blah 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 if you want my mom to still pick you and take you guys home she said no problem and all of a sudden later they stopped following me home because they kind of felt like you know they didn't want to be using my mom and every time the mom would see me and she would ask me why aren't you coming to our house i miss you like you need to keep coming i was like don't worry auntie my mom told me to keep my mouth shut because she didn't want to break someone else's because my mom didn't want to break someone else's home so she told me not to tell the wife not to tell my friend and to keep my mouth and just let it die down and that was how my mom and i kind of let it die down and i think she told my dad i can't really remember whether or not she told my dad i can't really remember but my mom kind of just let the issue go away and then she would take me to school because it was her responsibility as my mother to protect me from a perfect like that it was her job so she did what was right for me it didn't matter if i was getting to school at 7 30 even if i was, i didn't really like that but because that was kind of my sleeping time you know the time i was supposed to be dreaming my joseph dream when i got into college i remember one of i was home one time and i was walking i think my little brother and i this man saw me and offered to give me a lift i was like no thank you sir. i'm just showing goes ah can i get your number maybe you and i can still talk or go for a coffee or tea i'm like dumbass i think at this stage i was probably I was 18 i was already in uni i was like is this man an idiot or something i just want to make this video to let you guys know there's so many people like it's a good thing that i had someone who told me tell your mom even if she hadn't said told me to tell my mom i probably would have i would have never given to that man because he was someone that i saw as my friend's parents like the mother showed me so much love like I expected the same from the father but he didn't do that he had his own his own selfish interest like I just want to use this video to tell you that if you are in such situation you're not the only one it happens all over the world like some people are just too. if you are going through something like this sweetheart speak up I I said something so I got help I got the protection that i needed if you're going through something like this i want you to speak up if you have no one to talk to my email is down below send me an email if you can tell me what's going on and i can probably have the best advice if you want me to share it with my mom or something and i know she she's she's a virtuous woman i know she's gonna give me the best advice for you and if you're already in a situation like this maybe having something to do with that person it's not worth it it's not worth it at all i didn't even think for a second that i would have anything to do with him when he the first time he spoke to me i was like ew like seriously i'm just supposed to be like my uncle i used to call him uncle you're supposed to be my uncle you're supposed to look out for me like you look out for your own kids so i was i was like i was like it was the most irritating thing i ever heard in my life and i wanted to share my story for some reason it was just after that conversation in the car it was it just kept dropping in my heart it just kept dropping in my heart to to share the story with you guys and i hope it um, speaks to someone out there and yeah guys if you guys would like me to do more videos like this i have so many stories like even funny ones uh, it doesn't have to be on this kind of topics but if you have other topics like this you can send me an email as well and i can talk about them yeah i love you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please and share this video i hope you know it will help some other young lady out there who's probably around that age i was as well and yeah guys i love you guys so much for watching till next time bye guys Looking back at it and a good girl in my tax bracket Got a black card and let sex have it These Chanel bags is a bad habit I wanna run tour with my mask off I'm feeling myself